GT cars are some of the most desirable vehicles you can get. They have the perfect amount of flamboyance, speed and luxury. They are the perfect machine for turning up to the most glamorous restaurant in your city and coming in style. But there is another part to the GT formula. Loads and loads of depreciation. This is quite possibly one of the easiest ways to get your hands on to Grand Touring Royalty. And it is one of the last real Jaguar GT cars ever sold. This is the beautiful Jaguar XKR. Now I know everyone must be going ham in the comments saying Jaguar still has a GT car, it's the F-Type blah blah blah. No. The F-Type is more of a 911 competitor and to take the fight to Porsche, Jag had to do a lot of changes like reduce its wheelbase to make it more nimble, drastically change the way it handles and a whole bunch of other stuff to make it more of a sports car. But this thing did not care about any of that. It used to compete with the proper big boys in the GT category. Stuff like the Mercedes SL, the BMW 6 Series, the Bentley Continental and Aston's DB line of cars. And you can clearly see that this car wasn't meant to go around a corner fast, but rather go in style. It was designed by the legendary Ian Callum, the person who has designed possibly the two other greatest Aston Martin GT cars ever, the DB7 and the DB9. You can clearly see the design philosophy behind the XKR, with its beautiful curves, those beautiful subtle touches everywhere of muscle, but it is still very elegant. It's a proper proper GT car, on the verge of becoming an exotic. Well, if you thought Jaguar did not care about performance, let's just take a look under this hood. Over here, it's the proper party piece of this car. It's a 5-litre supercharged V8 and it has an engine tone like no other. It's a proper shouty engine. And paired to this engine is a very old version of the ZF gearboxes. And when they came out, they were pretty responsive. But compared to today's gearboxes, well, they're nowhere near the crispness and the sportiness of the newer ZF transmissions. It is something that can be looked over because of this stonking great engine over here. The XKR's interior is still luxurious and gives you that I am a rich old man feel. Although some of this switch gear and this steering wheel is shared with Fords. But it still gets a touchscreen infotainment system which is ancient compared to the ones of today and you get an analog instrument cluster up front which looks gorgeous. Since this is the convertible variant, you can get an automatic folding roof and it retracts and folds in about 18 seconds. So let's put the roof down and see how this thing actually drives. This thing does not sound anything like a German V8 or an Italian V8. It's a proper proper nasty sounding car. And you can hear that supercharger whine inside. It is a totally different experience. The bonnet is so long, you can't see anything apart from that. It is basically taking up my whole view ahead. And it's a proper GT car experience. And the reason why I'm saying that this is one of the last GT cars that Jaguar have made is because the F-Type is more of a Porsche 911 competitor. It's more of a sports car rather than a proper GT car like this. Don't get me wrong, this is nothing like a F-Type in the corners. I mean, the F-Type is super nimble. You can throw it in and it will handle the corner. This is more of a wrestling match because of the long wheelbase and that big lump of an engine up front. It's not meant to go around a corner fast, but it's meant to go around a corner in style. Jaguar has done a very good job in keeping this XKR convertible as rigid as possible. Most convertibles when the roof is chopped off go all wobbly around the corners but this thing holds its ground pretty damn well. But again, everything comes around and comes with that V8 note. Click down the paddles a few times. <laughs> that engine note is to die for. That's a proper V8 for you. This thing is meant to cruise at high speeds, not meant to go around a track at a million miles an hour. It's meant to have your hand out of the window like this and go down a fancy street in your city. 
The XKR is a very unique experience at a very reasonable price point nowadays. Used XKRs in the second hand market currently go for anywhere between 30 to 40 lakh rupees depending on the condition. And that's quite good value for a lot of car. But do keep in mind that it is still a Jaguar at the end of the day. That too an old V8 version. It won't be long before something goes wrong and you get a long service bill at your doorstep. But if you have the money to afford a car like this, the XKR might be one of the easiest ways to get your hands on a proper performance V8 that is not German. A big thank you to Luxcode Customs for providing us with this beautiful XKR. They have been doing some of the best wrap jobs here in Pune and the XKR has also been wrapped by them. They have some great materials to choose from and go check them out on their Instagram page and give them a follow to see more of their work. Thank you so much for watching, give us a follow on Instagram, subscribe to the channel to see more interesting content like this and I'll see you in the next one.